Welcome to this episode of No BS Live TV. I'm your host for today, Mara Glazer. And on today's show, I'll be interviewing the legendary online paid advertising genius, Perry Marshall, who was just added to her upcoming Info Summit roster to speak at the Social Media Money Magnet Bonus Day. Perry and I will be talking about Facebook advertising and how to use it to drive more traffic to your business and increase your sales. And at the end of the show, I will also reveal this week's one buck bonus giveaway. Let's start the show. Hi everybody, I'm about to be joined by the legendary Perry Marshall in just a few seconds. But before we ring him in, I just want to read to you his bio so you know exactly who he is and why we have him here on the show. So Entrepreneur Magazine says Perry Marshall is the number one author and world's most quoted, quoted consultant on Google advertising. He has helped over 100,000 advertisers save literally billions of dollars in AdWords stupidity tax. So his Chicago company, Perry S. Marshall and Associates, consults both online and brick and mortar companies on generating sales, leads, web traffic, and maximizing advertising results. And now Perry will also be speaking at our 2011 Info Summit bonus day, where it'll be a whole entire day about making money with social media and how to use social media as a money magnet in your business. So, all right, let's dial Perry in. All right, hi Perry, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of No BS Live TV. We're so excited to have you on the show. Thank you, it's great to be here. <laughs> I think this is your first time on the show, so this is a first for all of our No BS viewers. Um, so you're here to talk about Facebook advertising because you're gonna be speaking at our upcoming Info Summit all about using Facebook advertising to help grow your business and make more money in your business. So my first question for you today is why would a business owner want to start using Facebook ads and what are some of the advantages Facebook ads have over, over other forms of paid online advertising? So Facebook has a very particular advantage um, that a lot of businesses should take advantage of and it, it's not at all obvious on the surface and it's advertising to your own fans. Uh, now, why would you wanna pay to advertise to people that are already your fans? Well, so let me tell you why. Um, if, if somebody is a fan of your Facebook business page, um, it's no guarantee whatsoever that your announcements are gonna show up in their newsfeed because Facebook uh, filters people's newsfeeds and that figures out which of their friends they're the most interested in it, and it shows those friends. And so if your business isn't uh, one of those things and they're not interacting with you a lot, pretty soon whatever you put in your news feed will get buried and very few of your fans are going to see it. All right? So, so all by itself, you shouldn't really consider that news feed to be a really reliable uh, way to reach customers. However, you can pay to advertise to those same fans and your ad will show up on the right side of Facebook anytime you want it to on their Facebook account, whether they're looking at pictures of grandma or whatever they happen to be doing. Um, and this advertising is really cheap. You could probably advertise to a thousand fans for, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 or 50 bucks a month. I mean, it would be very small amount of money. It would be much, much cheaper than postcards, for example. And it's got zero annoyance factor. So if you had all their email addresses, you could send them all emails for free, but some of them might be annoyed. So with Facebook, there's this very, very low um, annoyance factor and it's extremely inexpensive. And so 
this is one of the best reasons to get fans. It's why it may very well be useful for you to give away a free cupcake or, or whatever. Um, a lot of people might have seen, I think it was uh, Redbox or Netflix. One of the video companies was saying, if you like us on Facebook, we'll give you a free video rental. You know, that's really cheap for them to do, but it, it is a huge benefit. And so, so that's one of the things that you should do. So you just talked about why a business owner should use Facebook advertising, but are there any sorts of businesses that should not be using Facebook advertising? Well, yeah, there's, um, there's kind of a spectrum where uh, we like to say Google is the Yellow Pages, Facebook is the coffee shop. Uh, so we all know what sorts of things people buy in the Yellow Pages. Uh, and you can take it a step further, like, you know, business to business and corporate sales um, are probably not real Facebook friendly. It's, it's probably not how you're going to um, reach your customers. On the other hand, some, bi some businesses are very identity oriented. Um, they're, they're cultural. They're, they have to do with your beliefs. Um, local businesses are good for Facebook. A yoga place would be good for Facebook. Uh, a political thing would be good for Facebook. Anything you could sell. What do they sell in coffee shops? They sell food. They sell drinks. They sell music and entertainment and poetry and book readings and, um, and political discussions and sometimes there's religious things. Anything that has that kind of orientation is very Facebook friendly. And then you're going to have things in the middle where you could make your business more Facebook friendly by having uh, events, um, by, um, by tying into things that people believe in or are passionate about. And, and so, yeah, there's, there's definitely a continuum and, some businesses are definitely Facebook friendly. So you've got everyone watching this convinced that we need to start using Facebook ads to grow our business. So what would be the first step that a business owner should take who wants to start using Facebook ads? Well, the, the first thing is, is I think you need to look at how Facebook friendly is your business. Um, by the way, Mara, can I, can I give away a URL? I don't know if that's... Sure, go ahead. Okay, okay. So w we have a little tool, um, isfbforme.com, and you can go there, and it'll take you about one minute, and you answer 10 questions, and it'll give you a score from 1 to 10 on how Facebook-friendly your business is. Um, and you know, if, if you, if you sell like automotive robots or something like that to factories, you're probably going to get a two or a three. Uh, and if you are a yoga studio, you're probably going to get an eight. Um, and, but it'll, it'll tell you. And, and I say, if you get a six or better on that tool, you should seriously consider Facebook. It's probably going to be one of your top five advertising opportunities online. And that's fbforme.com, you said? Is fb for me. We're going to put com. that on the bottom of the screen for all of our viewers to see. So Okay, great. So you're coming to speak at our upcoming Info Summit in November. You're speaking on our special bonus day, the Social Media Money Magnet Bonus Day. Can you give our viewers a little sneak peek of what you might be teaching there? Well, so right now we, we've just scratched the tip of the iceberg, but what we're going to show you is um, we, we've created some tools and we've done a lot of experiments and, and we've really worked, you know, in our little cave for about two years on Facebook advertising. And we have found some of the most fascinating things. And the most fascinating thing about Facebook is that everybody's customers have little eccentricities that they never really paid attention to before. And in Facebook, you use those eccentricities to find customers that nobody else would ever think of, of trying to target. So, 
So for example, it just here's uh, an instance. Um, at, at one of my seminars uh, about a year ago, I, I had 100 people in the room, and I said, how many people in this room are brown belt or above in martial arts? And eight people raised their hand. And Well, there's no way you could walk into a normal place and have eight people out of 100 be into martial arts unless you're like, you know, at a Taekwondo place. So what does that tell you? It, it tells you that my customers have a tendency to be interested in martial arts. That means that I could probably advertise in martial arts magazines or I could find martial arts people on Facebook that are also, also interested in internet businesses and stuff like that. And it would it would have a much higher chance of working than most people might suspect. And, and you can target people all kinds of ways in Facebook, whether it's martial arts or their favorite music or whatever. And so we've figured out how to use Facebook to learn stuff that it would cost, it would be almost impossible to find out any other way. Um, and so we're, we're going to show you how to take that and turn it into a, a profitable way of advertising your business and finding customers that your competitors probably wouldn't even know to look for. Yeah, yeah, great. So um, before we wrap up this call, if any of our viewers want to find out more about you before the Info Summit, what would be the best website for them to go to? Go to isfbforme.com and just take one minute, take the little quiz. When you get to the end, it'll give you a score. And um, after it gives you the score, you, you can fill out a little form and it will give you a complete explanation of uh, that score and why you scored the way you did and what things you can do to make your Facebook business even more Facebook compatible. Okay, great. So thank you so much for joining us here on NoBS Live TV, and we'll see you in November at the Info Summit. Thank you. <laughs> One buck bonus time. All right, welcome to our One Buck Bonus Giveaway. For those of you who don't know, here's how it works. Download our One Buck Bonus for this week between now and Thursday, and you'll be entered to win a GKIC resource from our DanKennedy.com Resource Center. Jessica, let's see what that resource is for this week. Jessica here bringing this week's one buck bonus prize to one lucky winner. Claim this week's one buck bonus and you'll be instantly entered to win Dan Kennedy's Renegade Millionaire Time Management. You'll get inside access to a blunt and unvarnished discussion about time management, strategies for improvement, and the psychology of fast achievement. Thanks, Jessica. Now let's move on to the drawing to pick the winner from last week. Congratulations to Justin Carnahan from Austin, Texas, our winner of last week's prize for claiming the one buck bonus. Justin, you can expect to see Dan Kennedy's celebrity promotions in your mailbox shortly. Want to claim this week's prize? Claim the one buck bonus by clicking the banner on the NoBS Live TV website and you'll be instantly entered to win. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Now don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Send us a tweet and tell us your number one takeaway from the show. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.